Spain. And there is the full time score. Club Sando 2, AC Port of Spain 4. So victory here for the AC Port of Spain team, which takes them now on the table. Wait, they go to 24 points. Club Sando remain on 17. So they're four points ahead of the second place team in Defense Force Elite. It's been a pretty a good display from them, especially in the second half, because they really dominated uh, Club Sando in the second half. They knew that they had to come from behind, and boy, did they come from behind in spectacular uh, fashion. So, so we're going straight to Lu Chin with um, the man of the match, and that is none other than Dwayne Muckett. Yes, and I am here with tonight's man of the match, none other than Dwayne Muckett. Congratulations. How pleased are you with your performance tonight? I'm very pleased. I'm very pleased with the whole team. To me, it was an all-around performance, and I could not have done it without my teammates. Absolutely. Of course, you all came back from our deficit. How hard was that to do tonight? Well, it was hard. It was difficult. We knew it was going to be difficult from the start, and it shows good character that we could go in down and come back up and get the victory. And finally, this was a huge game. You know, the title race is heating up. How important was it to get the victory tonight? You know, we said it before that these are the type of games that are going to make or break our season. And I'm very pleased that we, are, we were able to get over this hurdle and we, move, we look forward to getting over all the rest of the hurdles. Well done. Congrats again, Dwayne. Colin Murray will go through the highlights with us. Thank you very much. As we look at the highlights of this game, and boy, was it a goal fest. And uh, it's the referee for the game, referee Quincy Williams, got the action going, and right away, it was a penalty there for handleball. And up stepped Real Gill, and he buried it to the right of the keeper, giving him absolutely no chance. In minute number 16, Club Sando was in the lead, and then. A, freak, a penalty again. This time, it went against Club Sando. Dwayne Muckett, the man of the match, stepped up and he buried that to the left of the keeper. And all of a sudden, it was one all. But Club Sando was not finished. Look at this. Nicholas Dillon turned the, turned the defender and curled that ball sweetly to the far corner over the top of goalkeeper Poon Lewis. And Club Sando were leading here by two goals to one. They went into the half with that lead, and all of a sudden, Leacock, in the second half, minute number 51, took on the defenders and put it away from goalkeeper Goodman. Two all, AC Porter Spain back in the game. But they were not done yet. Four minutes later, the ball played through to Corbin, and he slid it past the keeper. Wonderful goal on his part, through to AC Porter Spain. Then Muckett, sending the ball across, Abu Bakr was there and he got past the defender and he was able to bury it into the corner. The central defender coming forward and scoring to make it four goals to two. And AC Porter Spain coming away with the victory. But let's have a look at the stats. 13 shots to 14. So that tells you it was a pretty even encounter in terms of shots. Shots on target, six to AC Porter Spain. Four to Club Sando, 13 fouls to six. There were four yellow cards. That was the intensity of the game to two yellow cards from Club Sando. No red cards, three offsides to one. Six corners for AC Porter Spade, five corners for Club Sando. Six saves from the Club Sando keeper Goodman, four from Poon Lois. So, you know, you look at those stats and the game was pretty much even, except you look at that stat to the top. Two goals, Club Sando, four goals to AC Porter Spain. We'll go down to Brent Sancho. He's got the coaches with him. Coach, really a tale of two halves, leading at halftime, eventually going down four goals to two. What do you think went wrong in the second half? Um, AC Porter Spain were a bit more clinical than us. I think uh, with the type of players they have, you know, we need to defend well. You know, um, having scored four goals against you, having they scored four goals, I think was uncharacteristic for us, for, for we to get so much goals, and I think that way it comes down too. Well, you must be impressed with Nicholas Dillon's performance here tonight. Certainly uh, provided a lot for AC Port of Spain defenders to think about your assessment of Nicholas Dillon. Uh, Nicholas Dillon has been tremendous for us, you know, um, coming into this half of the season. He wasn't there for the first half. I think he's doing tremendously well for us, and that's why it is we gave him big bucks. 
Thank you very much, Coach. All the best for the rest of the season. Coach, we talked about the importance of getting three points. We talked about also the importance of beating those around you. Massive three points at AC Port of Spain, turning things around in the second half. What do you think you did differently in the second half as it relates to the first? I think we executed more. We was more direct in the second half, I think. We was more fluent. I wasn't happy with how we played in the first half. I think second half, the boys and them raised the level and the little individual brilliant showed. Well, you made a, a half-time substitution in bringing on Che Benny. What was the reason behind that? I think it, I, thought, I thought we needed more support for Lee Cock on top. He was too alone by himself, and I know Shea could play in and around him, so I thought they would get some combinations to free up other players on the pitch. Well, congratulations, Coach, and all the best for the rest of the season. Thanks, Brent. Well, thank you, Brent. And it ends here at the Hazy Crawford Stadium. AC Porter Spain coming out 4-2 victors over Tiger Tanks Club Sando. An exciting fixture there. And, of course, match day.